смотрение. The emergence of Saint Honam Chilak from total obscurity to fame was meteoric. Her first appearance happened in 1989, and two years later, many famous European musicians were literally queuing to play with her. The appetite of Saint Honam Chilak for new music was enormous. During the first two years, she managed to play with many leading Soviet groups and musicians such as Pop Mechanics, Jazz Group Arkhangelsk, Vladimir Tarasov, Trio, and many others. But she also played with many Western instrumentalists such as Henry Kaiser and Butch Morris from the United States, Roland Dahingen and Werner Ludi from Switzerland, Peter Kowald from Germany, and Pierre Dog from Denmark. What is so special about Saint Ho? Everything. We have a rare recording of her in 1989 in Leningrad as a part of pop mechanics. <laughs>
St. Roman Cilac was born in 1957 in Tuva, a region which is close to Bashkiria and Mongolia. At the age of 30, she graduated from the institute named after the Gnesins in Moscow, and she became a professional performer of folklore of ethnic minorities of the USSR. The discovery of new music for St. Ho was a revelation. Her native Tuva was historically connecting, connected with the religions of shamans and Buddhists. Having mastered the Tuvinian style of singing, which we call throat singing, St. Honam Chalak is trying to recreate the art of old shamans. New music opened for St. Ko tremendous possibilities. The range of her voice is simply astonishing, and maybe for the first time in her life, she got the chance to use the power and flexibility of her voice. She's got the chance to incorporate in her performance her shamanic rhythms and to build her performance on improvisation. St. Honam Chalak is not exactly a jazz singer, but you can't call her an singer of folklore. She transcends all these categories. But what makes her appearance on the stage even stronger is her tremendous theatricality. Now, consider this compatibility of St. Ho with international musicians, and you will have every chance to believe that she might influence the development of new music. Russian jazz and new music have the first lady, it must be Valentina Panamareva. But to say just that would be to belittle this singer who has been known to huge crowds in the Soviet Union, both 
as one of the best performer of classical Russian romance and gypsy singing. By 1990, her singing career has been spanning more than three decades. She managed to develop her original way of producing sounds, and her technique of vocal improvising is also utterly unique. Valentina Panamareva's singing career can be roughly divided into three long periods, and each period was very important in creating and developing her vocal style. First, she's been singing jazz with big bands and music halls. Then, she traveled all over the world with her gypsy trio Roman. Valentina Panamareva is a Russian gypsy. And in the end of the 70s, she began to perform with free jazz musicians. But non-jazz composers of the Russian avant-garde has been also writing music for Valentina. For example, Sofia Gubaidolina invited her to perform her notated works. Valentina Panamareva is in trouble. She is in trouble because her devotees of